Folks, another common misconception. I'm here with Josh Welsh. Okay, he's from Iowa. And what we're going to do is we are going to show you another misconception. This is this idea of cutting to each other's weapons rather than each other's bodies. There's a big difference. If in the movies you see this kind of situation, okay, my sword's here, and instead of cutting at me, he cuts down at my blade. Watch what happens in real life if he should do that to me, okay? So he's going to cut at my blade, and I'm just going to counter cut and hit him. Or he tries to cut at my blade, and I'm going to slip my blade and cut him or thrust him or do whatever I want to him. The only attack that makes any difference to me as a combatant is the attack in which he throws his weapon and cuts at my body, meaning my head or torso in general. If he cuts at my hands or feet, those targets are still too quick and nimble and probably won't result in much success. That is stopping me from trying to kill him. So our historical sources tell us to cut at the other person's head or body. They call it commonly the openings. What they mean by that is not the hands, not the feet, but the torso, the body, and the head. So what happens is this, okay? He cuts at me, I've got to cut back at his body in order to stop his cut from hitting me and do something that's effective to him.